Welcome to my garage, guys, um, and birthplace of the Radical Rocket. Some people uh, in the comments have said, why didn't I make a normal drone? Um, answer to that is, I did, over eight years ago, a long time ago, before drones were really drones. Uh, scratch built one with six rotor blades, camera, all that stuff, flew around autonomously. Um, yeah, did it, basically. Um, wanted to do something a little bit more exciting, a bit cooler. So came up with a radical rocket. So what happens in a garage? Well, basically, concept, sketchy concept, design, build, um, all happens here. Um, radical rocket. So you probably want to know how it works. Uh, well, you got speed controller, batteries, flight controller, um, the GPS, receiver, telemetry control fins at the bottom, cool massive fan, powerful motor, people probably want to know how I made it, so um, the, uh, the airframe is made of aluminium, um, I made first of all in plywood, I uh, used my CNC machine, QCNC machine, laser cut bits out, um, and then on the aluminium bits, I printed it out on a piece of paper, glued it to the aluminium, and then cut the bits out on a bandsaw. Uh, people have asked about the um, inlet and the covers. Uh, the covers are vac formed. Pretty cool, once again. CNC machine. Milling a block of, uh, like kind of, it's a bit like wood. Um, it's like a resin, you can, you can buy it, it's a modeling board. Um, milled that out to make some molds. Um, Whacked it in my vac forming machine. There you go. Plastic parts, plastic covers. Same with that big inlet ring at the top. Some people said, is it a jelly mode? No, it's not jelly mode. I designed it and I made it and that's the mold for it there. So I can make as many of those as I need to. Um, rockets connected to the ground station. You've probably seen that in some pictures as well. Um, if you have a look at this all the telemetry, what it's doing, it's pitching, controlling, which way it's pointing. All that stuff goes back to the ground station when it flies around. Um, flight controls at the bottom here. Um, servo control. And it's got gyros and accelerometers inside. So when it's ready to fly, which it doesn't want to fly at the moment because there's no GPS. It's not a good GPS because it's indoors. So it's day seven of flight testing. Um, I don't know if you noticed in uh, some of the other videos, there's a little bit of wobble in the yaw, which is that way. I'm gonna try and work that out today. So I've got this uh, super high tech landing pad system, which lets the airflow through it so that when it's sitting on the ground, um, it's a bit more stable initially, which is good for flight testing. Um, also available in the kitchen section in Ikea, if you want one. Um, it's a shelf, shelf space saver. So, uh, flight test number uh, 12, 13. Um, here we go. Okay, flight test number is 13. Um, day 7. Um, Going to just lift it off the pad a little bit, drop it down, see if I've got that wall. Still a bit of wobble.
Hey, day seven of flight testing's gone really well. Um, I managed to uh, work out that wobble. Um, had a few really good stable flights. I'm gonna have loads of data to look through later on, see if I can maybe make that even better. Um, one of the uh, batteries, I don't know if you saw, one of the flights didn't last very long. Um, one of the batteries is, uh, is dead, basically. It's puffed, it's getting really hot, it's puffed up. Um, it's dropping its voltage quickly, so I need to get some, uh, get a new battery. Uh, maybe get a new set of batteries, I don't know, because they're all kind of the same type, so I want to keep them the same. Um, got a uh, YouTube channel out, so I'm um, uh, going to be posting the videos straight to there. So if you could uh, like and subscribe that, um, you'll see the videos instantly when they're uploaded. So uh, yeah, keep following. Um, thanks for watching.